Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Long time no see, although I've been watching your videos. I just haven't been putting out any. I've been really busy, really tired, a lot of stuff going on. Um, so yeah, I just didn't want to kind of half-ass make a video just to put something out there. So I better wait till I do something. Um, so, some of you guys may remember that, I don't know, like three weeks ago, I Loctited these nuts onto the bolts using three different types of Loctite, 243, uh, 660, and the medium strength blue. Um, <clears throat> so the idea was I was going to let them dry 48 hours or harden 48 hours, cure 48 hours, however you want to put it. And then I was going to try my uh, induction heater on them. I haven't tried the induction heater at all. haven't used it. haven't plugged it in even. So this will be a first. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll take them over. I'll put them on and clamp them in a vise and give you guys a little demo of that. I'll, so we'll just set these aside and I will show you the, the induction heater for those of you that haven't seen it. It didn't come with a case. bought this Plano or Plano, however you pronounce it. Um, generally good cases. It was cheap on sale at Canadian Tire for, I don't know, 30 bucks or something, which is all right for me. So it suits my purpose. It's about the right size. Probably peel that off though. Okay, I'll pop these open. Okay, there we go. Well, that's what it. Oh! There went my. No, nah, never mind. So here's the actual unit. Hot rod, flameless heat system for professional use only. Do not look directly into LED lamp. So on the sides are these little threaded holes and they're for these little knobs. Pump those out of there. And the knobs basically just lock the, the coils in place. So let's see. Look at that size. Let's see. This looks like about the right size. It looks maybe a little big even. No, that's too small. So we'll go with this one. You'll see. You want it to fit in without touching, but be as close as possible. So we'll take that. And we will. There's two holes in the end, as you can see. We'll put it in. Take the knobs. Snug those up. You don't gotta tighten it like you're, you know, wrenching on a lug nut or anything. Just needs to be secure enough to hold it from falling out and make a good connection. Right. So there we go. We should be ready to go. Now what I'll do is I'll turn this off, take you guys over to the workbench, and set this up in a vise, and we'll give it a try. Hold on. All right, everybody, we're back. We're at the workbench here. I moved everything. I've got the lock tight just to show you guys. Um, I'm just guessing at this point that these are with the right ones. I don't think it really matters. So let's just hold on a second here. All right, sorry, I meant to grab a wrench. So we'll just put that in the vise. Tighten her up a little bit. Okay, now first of all, we'll try it without using the heat. I don't want to try too hard because I might break it loose. Actually, it's pretty stiff. I'm not going to leaf on it, but it's, it's pretty good. So let's just try it. We'll plug in the induction heater. It plugs directly into there you go. For those of you wondering, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Input 110 volt, 50 to 60 hertz. So we'll plug that in. There's a button on the induction heater here, which should light up the light at the end. See, that means it's on. Um, the deal is it has a duty cycle, much like a welder. Two minutes on, five minutes off. Two minutes, I mean, that might sound low to you, but that's actually plenty 
you can bend these also. So I'm just going to bend them a little bit. Okay. So you guys can see this. Let's move it up a bit. Hold on. Urgh. Technical difficulties here. Okay. Now let's put this over the, the nut without touching it and turn it on for a couple minutes. She's smoking all right. Oh, does that ever smell? Oh, okay, you guys can see that? That's red hot. Oh, does that ever stink? Oh, geez. I could probably turn that with my fingers if it wasn't red hot. Here, look, I can spin it off. Completely broke the Loctite on that one. So that works pretty darn good. Okay, let's take that out of there. Um, just a second. I'm not going to grab that with my bare hands. Just grab the pliers here. Banging the camera around. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's take these crappy pliers, get this thing out of here. Down. Try this one. Now, if I had a timer, I would time how long I'm actually doing this, but the only real timer I have that does seconds or split seconds is on my phone, which I'm using to film this. So let's try this again here. I'm not even sure we'll have to heat it up that hot. Just wait till it starts smoking. I don't think it needs to be red hot. You can see the nut, like you guys can't see it, but I'll, here, I'll take that off. You can see how the nut turned black? It's basically burning the chrome off it with the galvanizing, which can't be too good for you. Okay, let's take that. Again, we didn't even let this one get red hot. Let's see how it goes. We'll even use the open end of the wrench just to try it. It's just like nothing. It's like Loctite was never even used. It spins right off. Down. It actually seems a little quicker than a torch without having to worry about catching stuff on fire. So let's try this last one again. You can see the inside of the coil gets a little bit of brown marks on it. That's totally normal. It's, it's likely just smoke. The coils themselves are a copper thing with a, like an, I'm not sure what the coating is on these. It's like a fiberglass mesh. Well, let's go, let's go. Let's get this one red hot just for shits and giggles. It's getting so hot, it's discoloring the bolt too, not just the nut. Let's get this, whoa, we just about caught on fire there. All right, I'm pretty sure that's going to be loose enough. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So these have been sitting with Loctite on them for roughly three weeks now. It's only supposed to be a couple days, but I got busy. So pretty sure that that's definitive how well this works. Let's see if we can take this out without pliers. There we go. So yeah, I'll let those cool. And then I'll show you guys what's what. Let's take this anyway and see. Nope, that's still pretty hot. But there's, there we go. Let's block that. See how black that is? It's burnt the chrome or galvanizing. I think this is galvanized. So it's burnt the galvanizing right off the nut. You don't want to breathe that. Um, you'll get very sick. It won't kill you, but you'll feel sick for a couple of days. And you'll wish you were dead. I've... I've gotten galvanized poisoning from welding galvanized stuff and it's not fun so be very careful but i highly recommend this i'll post a link to it where i got it keep in mind i'm in canada so the link will be an amazon.ca link i'll see if i can find it on amazon.com for you guys um, for the price it's great haven't just used it i'm i'm very much looking forward the main reason i wanted it 
was for the uh, exhaust manifold bolts on my or nuts studs on my uh, Miata. I'll be changing it over when I take the exhaust off, put the turbo on, turbo manifold on. So it's going to be perfect for that. And I already checked, fits into the right places. Everything's perfect. It's all a go. Just waiting for some warm weather to, to make it happen, basically. Getting real tired of this cold. I don't know about you guys. But anyway, that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love comments. And I just want to say thank you for the some of my regular viewers who have been, you know, I've been watching their videos and commenting and they've been saying, you know, I need to make another video. I appreciate it, you guys. It, it's nice to know that it's noticed when you're not around. Not something I look for, but it, it's nice. So thank you. I appreciate it. It's nice to know that people are actually watching the videos and notice when you don't make them, right? So that's kind of what we all want. Um, yeah, any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. So have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. And that's it. See you later.